Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is the Metatron speaking. Today we are here back in VR, virtual reality, with our Oculus Rift DK2. And today there are two interesting things that I'm going to talk about. Well, first of all, I'm going to show you an interesting um, game based on an anime, which I think that if you know Ghibli or uh, Miyazaki Hayao, then you will, you will already know. And I'm talking about Spirited Away. So the original title in Japanese is Sento Chihiro no Kamikakushi. And it's interesting actually the title because as you know, Sen and or Sen and Chihiro are the same person, the same girl, the protagonist, the two different names that she has in this in this anime during the anime. And uh, Kamikakushi means doesn't really mean spirited away, it actually means the hidden spirits of Sen and Chihiro. That would be the actual translation, but yeah they have chosen to, to call it Spirited Away. So um, today I'm going to show you this VR demo and I'm going to show you, so I'm going to meet Chihiro and uh, the demo take pla takes place in the um, boiling room, the boilers room. And so we're going to also to meet two other um, beings, one or uh, two other characters, or two other kinds of characters. We're going to meet Kamaji, which is the, I think you know it, the, the, the man with, um, sunglasses and uh, you know the moustache and many arms beautiful character and and also the the suit spirits spirits which are there are many of those and they're the little black ones that work so beautiful this you know this anime is really good the first time I've watched it I was in Japan and I saw it in in Japanese and uh, it's a great it's a great anime very very beautiful story the second thing that I'm going to show you now though is how to move inside virtual reality uh, without using an Omni and uh, but yeah I'll, let's just get to the video so without further ado let's jump inside the dazzling world of Spirited Away Alright, so here we are, as you see, we are inside Spirited Away, which is one of my, I think, childhood's dreams, and it has just, just come true. Uh, you can, of course, if you have seen the, the anime, you will recognize the room. Now, apart from the fact that thanks to the Oculus Rift, I can now really feel as if I was inside an anime and obviously inside a room because if I look around, look up, look down um, all my vision as you know is completely changed into an anime and this is fantastic. I already feel very immersed here and, and when you use headphones, I'm not using headphones now for mobility reasons but when you hear headphones the illusion of presence is, all, is even stronger. However, one thing that I would really like to do now is to meet her, the protagonist. Now, uh, obviously, one of the things I would do if I really was here in, in, in real life would be to uh, walk to her and start talking to her, maybe introducing myself, because I see her in front of me and she's an anime and it's fantastic. Now, that's precisely what I'm going to do now. The question is though, I'm not, I don't have a joypad in my hand, my keyboard and mouse are far away from me, I do not own a Virtuix Omni, neither do I have a virtualizer. So, how am I going to do that? Very simple. I don't know if you know this, if you knew this or not, but with DK2, as you know, we have a positional tracker, which I've placed over there on my television. Now, thanks to the positional tracker, positional tracker is tracking the position of your head, meaning the headset, um, all the time. So, if I do this, as you know, I can now move and peek around corners. Okay, we have learned our lesson. We know how it works. However, the distance that it can reach is up to 12 um, footsteps. I've tried this one myself. What this means is that I can actually walk towards her and if she's not too far away, um, it's actually going to work. So let's try. There you go. One, two, it's working. Oh my gosh, now this is illusion of presence. 
this really does give me, oh sorry, did I scare you? Uh, this really does give me um, the illusion as if I was here. Uh, as you know, I can actually go a little bit further. I don't want to get too close, but because uh, that would be awkward. But yeah, she's shorter than me, so I can look over there. I really felt like, you know, if there was a wall here, I could actually lean, but I can't. But yeah, I'll pretend. So as you can see, okay, this is pretty much how the maximum distance I can get. So I can kind of bend as you know, hey, you've got a huge head and big eyes actually. Hello, it's my pleasure to meet you. I'm the Metatron. How are you? Oh, should I speak Japanese to him actually? Hajimemashite, watashi wa Metatron desu. Dozo, yoroshiku And thank you for your anime. It was fantastic. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you. And um, bye. So, and then I can just walk back. And this feels really natural. It's amazing. Of course, again, I don't have a lot of space. And that's one of the reasons why I think that the um, Volv, uh, the one from Steam, is going to be also interesting because of the fact that you can actually walk around. Uh, I think I will eventually try an Omni. But for those of you who can't afford an Omni, and you think, you know, I can just afford perhaps an Oculus Rift, I can't afford an Omni. Well, you can do this with a position tracker, so if you have a DK2 and you haven't tried, you should do, because this really does, this really makes a difference. Look at this, I'm walking towards a height. So, yes, and of course, I, oh, one thing that I can't do, though, with DK2, but you can do in the next one, uh, the next one, I don't remember the name, but yeah, um, is I can't turn around and walk, because at the very moment I turn around, I don't have sensors on the back of my head. I do with the new one, but not with the old one. So I, the only way I can walk is the, that direction where I came from is to walk back because I'm always looking at the camera, which is the position of tracker. I can actually also go a little bit on the left and a little bit on the on, on the right. However, I mean right and left. However, not that much, okay? Because but the further away I get, the more I can do that because it's like a cone. That's how it is. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this, and I'll just get a joypad now so I can visit and explore all the rest of this stage for you. Right, so there you are. Hi. So you came from here, I understand. No, this is a bit too dark, not much to see here. So, there you go. Oh, I love these little little ones. Hi, hard workers. And here he is. Hi there. You're a good man. Just wanted to tell you that. You've got a lot of arms. That's okay. I remember that in the anime, he says good luck to her. It's a very strong and thick Japanese accent. He says like, good doraku. And I'm going to tell him the same thing. Oh gosh, I'm going to tell him the same thing. Let me see. Hey! You! Good luck. Good doraku. He actually stopped the animation at the moment, but that's okay. It happens, I suppose, after a while. This is just a demo, but it was a good one. So from me and her. Alright then, thank you very much for watching as always. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I have to say that it was interesting to, to try and walk inside the virtual reality. If you own a um, DK2, you should definitely check this out, okay? Alright then, so let me know what you think in the comments below. Let me know if you tried to walk in virtual reality. And if you don't have a and head mounted set yet but let me know what you think if you think that this could be an interesting experience it was again very nice um, to be able to share this with you and remember the metatron has spread its wings into virtual reality